Hey everyone! Good morning! It's been a while, wala akong vlog. So today, naisip namin na pupunta namin kapatid ni Charles na nag may collection ng mga cars at siya din yung gumagawa sa ibang cars doon. Uh, medyo matagal ko na gustong pumunta doon kaso lang super busy siya. So ngayon lang kami mag, uh, magka-time na pupunta doon. So titingnan natin yung kayong mga collection guys. Um, we are so excited. Meron din dito sa ano ni mama eh. A basement. Pero sabi niya huwag na lang daw doon na lang doon sa kanila. So tara, let's go to his house guys. Somebody, I say you don't cross my mind And she doesn't know that your favorite place is still mine Now I take the long way home Avoid what I can let go So I asked JD what's his two favorite stuff that he built you built that one too? Yep. These two was the first two that I ever built. And this was probably, I would say I was probably six and seven years old. Mm -hmm. And I built them at the kitchen table sitting in mom and dad's house. Wow, very cool. old. You were like, how many, how, how old are you that time? I was probably <laughs> six or seven years old when I built these. Oh my goodness. And they're rough. They're yeah. Absolutely, they don't set right. The doors are glued shut. I'm surprised this one's hood's not glued shut. They're missing pieces. They're not painted. They're dusty, six they're years dirty. old, and then you started building when you were six years old. And yeah. until how old are you now? I'm 41 now. 41. Wow. There's he built a lot, painted. guys. I'm gonna show you more outside. The glass is all fogged up from not getting my my glue on them you know getting the glue on the mm -hmm. glass but those are my two favorites because that's kind of where i started do you know what's the name of this one or um, you don't you, this you have a name is a 41 willies pickup mm -hmm. and it was a hot rod kit by revel this one is an amt kit and it was a model a i have both of these kits now unbuilt sealed oh to match these that i built when i was a kid Wow, perfect, nice. What about this one here, brother? Is uh, your collections? Some of it are collections. Yep, that is all unbuilt kits that I eventually I say I'm going to build. I don't have a kit that I don't plan to build. I don't collect them. I don't. They're all. They were all bought oh to build. Goodness. It just kind of got out of control. Yeah, and he still have <laughs> a lot of stuff in Mama's place too. Yeah, there's too. 800 kits in Mom's basement. I know. And. Some of those are just old uh, yeah. wind up and, go and pull toys that his collection used to get that on the top kids at Gibson's and stuff like that and wear them out and I've gotten uh, since I've gotten a couple new ones that people found me and wow uh, <laughs> what's called a valve cover car Whoa. and they used to race them at Oakley at the hot rod or at the rod runs at the car shows. Mm -hmm. And the kids and I built those. That's all welded together and built out of metal with rollerblade wheels. All dusty and that white car. But this one is, you built this one too. Yep. That white car up this there one's is a Pepsi. completely out of styrofoam, or out of uh, aluminum foil, the body is. Oh. You can't even touch it without smashing it. It's oh. horrible. <laughs> That's why it's in that case. Look at this, guys. <laughs> These are all his collections and he built, built 350. Yeah. Which I, and I need to dust them all. They're all dusty. And yeah. Dirty, but I, That's all right. It's been stuck. And yep. And there and a lot of these is ones I built when I was a kid. I was been high school age. Ah, uh, John Deere also tractor. Mom and dad bought me that kit and I built it for dad. Oh. Uh, when I was a kid and I gave it to him. Um, in the recent years, I added the duels to it, mm -hmm. and I had a set of weights that I put on the front, mm -hmm. um, but it rolled off the shelf at mom and dad's and broke a wheel off and broke the wheel weights or the weights off the front, and we never found the weights, and I brought it over to redo the front end because I had a parts tractor that I could pull the front end off of and redo mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. him, 
and I had it over here when Dad passed away. This is what's sitting right there, and it'll stay there forever. No, oh, that's, that's so sweet. That's my one of my favorite ones, just because it has such a memorable story. Yeah, it means it's heavy. so much to me, you know. And, yeah. So this yeah. is the new one that you built right now. Uh, he started this one yeah. right now, guys. Now that started. So what's the name of that one? This was a Dodge Dior. It was two Dodge Dior's that was parts, and I cut them. It started life as this here, ah, okay. and it had that turtle shell for the back for the uh -huh. camper. And it's two of the backs of these cut and built together, and then the wheel wells readjusted, and the frame put under it to make a trailer out of it. Yeah, it's the Yungi no one you guys made. But this one is not done yet. Huh? Not we just done quite yet. It. I got to add, put some glass in it. I got propane oh, tanks yeah. for the front. I got the tail lights and all that stuff yet to put on it. I have to paint the frame yet underneath. Mm. It's all pretty bare underneath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still getting there with that. And then it's cool. this one here is the 64 Chevy pickup to match the one that mm -hmm. my dad gave me when I was in school. Mm -hmm. um, it's setting out here. It looks just like this does. I'm, I've had to stretch the box. It's made out of two kits. I've had to stretch the box on it to get it to be a long box so they don't make a long box. And then had to strip all the chrome off. And my dad's truck was a base model, so it didn't have the chrome grills, chrome bumpers, and all of that. Mm -mm. And so that's kind of what I'm working on there. And I got pieces and parts laying all over. For yeah, it. yeah. Cut and stretch the frame for it yet, so that it all lines up. And I got to take the interior and, and redo it. And then, as you can see, there's lots of parts that I've cut off of the to make this truck land there. Mm -mm. And then I'm also building an extended cab one that's about the same year as this, just out of the leftover pieces. Mm -hmm. I try not to let any of it go to waste. There's yeah. boxes of parts over here. I end up yeah, this here one and here. And then I build stuff for mm -hmm. customers a lot. Like this one here is a customer's truck. Uh huh. Um, that one's still a known process. Yeah, I sell. I sell them and make money off of them and. That's about a two hundred and fifty dollar pickup sitting there. Wow! And He's also a collector. The one who requested. Yes. There's more detail put into them wow. than some. I wished I would detail some of my stuff out, like I do the customer stuff, because yeah, their stuff has to. When it leaves here, it has to be perfect. I, you know, it has. Maybe to be they exactly probably what sell this one too. You think? Nope. He'll put it in his display case, and he'll have it forever. Oh. Um, it'll be stuff that he collects, like the stuff that I build for myself, and. All the boxes completely scratch built. All the wrecker hookups. Are this is not for built. sale, guys. Yeah. <laughs> do all that. Wow, like all it looks very pretty. And everything. No? Yep. So pretty. This is all made with ribbon so that I can actually set a car up to it. Mm. And this and this and you'll find. Oh. So it's detailed, huh? Yeah, it's all detailed. And all the radiator hoses are rubber. Perfect. All the wiring for the, the plugs are there. <laughs> I don't always think about you till first heaven. That's when I Bahay na kami guys, kakatapos lang namin doon. At super lamig sa labas. Grabe sumakit yung tuhod ko. Grabe sumakit yung tuhod ko. So, nandito ako sa katabi ng heater para mabilis mawala yung sakit ng tuwod ko. May arthritis na ako eh, sa right side. <laughs> matanda na matanda. So, sana nagustuhan nyo ang mga collection niya guys. Sorry, hindi siya masyadong maayos yung pagkuka ko kasi, ano, na-excite ako. So, sana nagustuhan nyo and I hope to see you in my next video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Bye everybody! Bye everybody!